I want to go over some details here of how mandatory Ebola vaccines will soon be a reality here. I just put out a video showing how in Connecticut the governor signed signed away basically everyone's rights here, authorizing them to quarantine anyone that they suspect of having Ebola, and that means a mandatory vaccination. Once they lock you down, they're going to vaccinate you. They're going to have you isolated. And no one in Connecticut thus far has even been diagnosed with Ebola. We also have, at the same time, U.S. maker of ZMAP, ZMAP, ZMAP Biopharmaceutical Incorporated. They are boosting their output. So more vaccines coming. More vaccines coming. You have bills being put into place here, emergencies being declared to where they can lock people down and vaccinate them. And then people want to talk about now, is it possible? Well, it's already happening. Now, I'm going to leave a link here. This goes back to the John Moore show where they're speaking about how they believe Ebola is actually in multiple states, that the media is basically covering it up like they always do. And at this point, the only way that we're going to get the truth is to have people on the ground that are close to these places. They can bring back real information here that's not biased and not filtered through the mainstream media. So John Moore and them go deeper on the radio show piece here and speak about how they believe this thing's going to bloom to where it's out of control because we see how they're handling it. They're handling it completely sloppy. Um, the quarantine measures for the first patient were just completely ridiculous. And at this point, we don't see them getting any better. So if somebody else comes down with it in the United States, we're just going to sit back and see how they handle it. We're going to see where it's at and how it came to be as well. But one thing's for sure. It looks like the potential for this thing to get out of hand is growing greater and greater every day as the information is changing on it from the CDC day to day. And now we have proof that these vaccination makers are ramping up to make more. And at the same time, you have states that have not seen a single case of Ebola making it uh, mandatory to be locked down if they suspect that you have this and vaccinated. So this is where it's heading. And if they do this like the John Moore show is stating here, they think that it's going to bloom out of control and then they're going to have no choice but to do something. That's when they're going to state that your money, you can't, money's no good no more. You can't use money back and forth and transfer it. That's how the disease is getting transmitted now because they lied to us. It's mutated. They're going to use that excuse. And then what? Then everything of our worst nightmares comes into play, all ushered in by this Ebola. And then when they're forcing people to take these experimental vaccines, who knows what the outcome will be? That's what I don't like out of this, is the fact that you already have an emergency declared in Connecticut where nothing's happened there and if they suspect anything, they're going to lock you down and they're going to vaccinate you. That's wrong. And that's a huge alert. And if they do th if they do this like John Moore and them believe, it's going to be large scale. Then, as it's all going to be put into law, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. You're not going to be able to travel or do anything unless you're vaccinated. You see? I'll leave a link. It's been Dabu7. Peace. I want to go over some details here of how mandatory Ebola vaccines will soon be a reality here. I just put out a video showing how in Connecticut the governor signed, signed away basically everyone's rights here, authorizing them to quarantine anyone that they suspect of having Ebola, and that means a mandatory vaccination. Once they lock you down, they're going to vaccinate you. They're going to have you isolated. And no one in Connecticut thus far has even been diagnosed with Ebola. We also have, at the same time, U.S. maker of ZMAP, ZMAP, ZMAP Biopharmaceutical Incorporated. They are boosting their output. So more vaccines coming. More vaccines coming. You have 
bills being put into place here, emergencies being declared to where they can lock people down and vaccinate them. And then people want to talk about now, is it possible? Well, it's already happening. Now, I'm going to leave a link here. This goes back to the John Moore show where they're speaking about how they believe Ebola is actually in multiple states, that the media is basically covering it up like they always do.